Republican Congressman Steve King is now reconsidering an upcoming debate with opponent Democrat Jim Maurer after a new attack ad. KCCI Shana Humphreys does some fact checking to find out if King's response is warranted. Elections are about choices, and when we needed him, Jim Maurer put the country first and served in Iraq. But in Washington, Steve King put himself and his party first. The ad in question highlights two of Congressman King's past votes, one in 2009, the other in 2012. But he did vote to raise his own pay by $20,000 a year and take perks like free health care for life. According to voting records, those statements are technically true, but they fail to provide necessary context. And there's so many different things in a bill. Uh, if you're a member of a legislature, you've got to decide on balance, are there enough things in there that cause me to vote for it, despite the things I don't like? Now, this ad talks about just one thing from each of the bills Congressman King voted for. The one he voted against was a Democrat-sponsored budget bill, and the one he voted for was a Republican bill aimed at repealing the Affordable Care Act. There are a lot of different bad things that we could have talked about in that bill. Congressman King's campaign says the ads are blatantly false and tells KCCI he's now reconsidering a debate he recently agreed to unless the Maurer campaign pulls the ads and publicly apologizes. To take the highly offended, I'm shocked anybody would say such a thing approach, of course, is to ignore dealing with any kind of factual basis that there might be. King's campaign manager tells KCCI that a debate is about moral integrity, something they now believe Maurer lacks. Steve King is using this ad as an excuse to avoid defending his record. If he pulls out of the debate, it shows that he's too scared to defend his record. The king Mauer debate is scheduled for October 23rd. Shana Humphreys, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.